Good evening class and welcome to lesson 2.5, Estimate with Two-Digit Divisors. Let's begin by taking a look at our essential question. It says, how can you use compatible numbers to estimate quotients? Alright, well let's kind of connect back to a previous lesson. You can estimate quotients using compatible numbers that are found by using basic facts and patterns. Like 35 divided by 5 equals 7. 30, 350 divided by 50, our basic fact is 35 and 5 equals 7 plus our 0, which would be 3,500 divided by 50 equals 70. 35,000 divided by 50 equals 700. So let's take a look at our Unlock the Problem. The observation deck of the Willis Tower in Chicago, Illinois is 1,353 feet above the ground. Elevators lift visitors to that level in 60 seconds. About how many feet do the elevators travel per second? Well, let's take a look at the question that we need to answer. It says, about how many feet do the elevators travel per second? Well, if you see that our question contains a very important keyword, about. About means to either estimate or round. And in order to find that, we have to use our basic facts. So, let's estimate 1,353 divided by 60. So we're going to use two sets of compatible numbers to find two different estimates. So we're looking for basic facts. And if we look at the first two numbers, 13 and the 6 and 60, we see that that does not go in together. But a basic fact that is close to 13 is 12. So we could round 1353 to 1200 or 1200. And we have our basic fact of 12 divided by 6. The other way that we can go is to round up. So another basic fact that we would be 1800 or 1800. Because 18 divides by 6 evenly. So then step two, it says use patterns and basic facts to help estimate. So we know that 12 divided by 6 equals 2. We know that 120 divided by 60, because the zeros cancel out each other, also equals 2. We know that 1,200 divided by 60, we take the zero off each one. We know that leaves us with 20 because we still have one zero left. And then the other basic fact close to that is 18 divided by 6 equals 3. We know that 180 divided by 60 also equals 3 because the zeros cancel each other out and leaves us with our basic fact. We know that 1,800 divided by 60 well, we know that 18 divided by 6 equals 3. We have a 0 that cancels each other out, and we have one 0 left that we add to the end of our quotient. So the elevators travel about 20 to 30 feet per second. The more reasonable estimate is 1,200 divided by 60 equals 20, because 1,200 is closer to 1,353 than 1,800 is. So the observation deck elevators in the Willis Tower travel about 20 feet per second. Alright, let's take a look at another example. It says... Miriam has saved $650 to spend during her 18-day trip to Chicago. She doesn't want to run out of money before the trip is over, so she plans to spend about the same amount each day. Estimate about how much she can spend each day. Well, our estimate will involve $650 as our dividend and $18 as our divisor. So $600 divided by... And we know that we don't have anything to go into 18, so now we have to look at our divisor and round it too. 
So 600 divided by 20, because that gives us a basic fact of 6 and 2, 6 divided by 2 equals 30, or we can go to 800 divided by 20 because we have a basic fact of 8 divided by 2. So Miriam can spend about 30 to $40 each day. Given Miriam's situation, which estimate do you think is the better one for her to use? Well, honestly, she should use the estimate of the $30 because 40 times 18 actually equals $720. And that is going over her 650 amount. So now, let's try another one to find two estimates. Well, we've got 415 divided by 52. Well, we know that we could make a compatible number of 400 and round our 52 to 50 and that's the 40 divided by 5 equals 8 0 cancels out 0 leaves us with 1 0 so that would be 80 or we can go 450 divided by 50 because basic fact of 45 divided by 5 equals 9 cancels out and I'm sorry there should be no zero there your answer should be 8 because 40 is part of your basic fact sorry so when you cancel out the zero and the zero that leaves you with 8 alright let's look at the next one so we can find a basic fact in 27 by rounding to 2800 divided by, and we take our 38 to 40, so we have a basic fact of 28 and 4, and we know that equals 7, and if we cancel out our 0 and 0, that leaves us with 1 0, so 2800 divided by 40 equals 70. Or we can go with 32 or I'm sorry, 2400 divided by 40. We have a basic fact of four, 24 and 4, so 24 divided by 4 equals 6. Cancel out our zeros, leaves us with one zero, so 60 or 70. All right, let's take a look at our problem of the day. It says, Marina baked 150 blueberry muffins for a bake sale. She is wrapping them in packages of five. How many packages of blueberry muffins can Marina make? So the question we need to answer is how many packages of blueberry muffins can she make? Now we see that she starts off with 150 blueberry muffins. She is wrapping them in equal packages of five. So that tells me that I need to divide. So my problem then becomes 150 divided by 5. Go ahead and work this problem out. Be sure you record it and bring it with you to class tomorrow, and I will see you then.